My next question from the Twitterverse about PhDs comes from Mike Kent again. Mike, you've been busy. And Mike asked me, and I love this question, I've never been asked this question before. Mike asks, what are your thoughts on approaches for people studying towards their PhD full-time compared to part-time? Now that is an amazing and important question. Now Mike, there are some rules to consider. There are two maxims actually to consider. The first one is the longer a PhD candidature goes, the less likely the person is to finish. And secondly, if a person suspends their doctoral candidature, they're less likely to complete as well. So for all the guys and gals out there thinking, should I suspend? Just remember the moment you do that, the clock is ticking on whether or not you will actually finish that PhD. So therefore, Mike, part-time enrolment is incredibly tough. The candidate is choosing part-time enrolment because they don't have a lot of time because they've got family commitments or incredible time commitments with work. So they're already busy people, and we all know if you're incredibly busy, then study and reading and research and drafting and writing are often the first areas to go in your busy, busy schedule. I understand that. Now, for some, therefore, a PhD part-time is the only way to go. If you've got kids, if you've got one of those busy jobs and a mortgage, then it's either part-time or it is not at all. So I really get that. But let me just remind you that you're going to have to demonstrate a much higher level of time management skills than a full-time person. But what I would ask is have that strong relationship with your supervisor and make sure they understand your priorities, they understand the kids, the work and everything, and try and section off a couple of sessions each week that is your time. Tell your family, tell your partner and say, look, Tuesday morning or Sunday afternoon, that's my time to do this PhD and I am not going to go to anything at that time because I am committed to this and please be with me. So have a real family around you to enable that part-time PhD because if you don't, you're really not going to finish it. What I'd also say to you is Find supportive supervisors who really understand the pattern of your work, who understand the commitments of life, part-time enrolment in particular. So if you can find a supervisor who also did part-time enrolment on the way through, that can help the process as well. But I think it's about having courage at the start and recognising, you know what, I'm going to do this tough, but I'm going to demonstrate the commitment and the time management skills to do it well. And with that commitment from the start, I believe in you and I believe that you will finish.